Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, so I got another message from Jesus today. Guys, he poured his spirit out again on me today and oh, it's so powerful. I, I wish I could explain it, but um, he gave me all this, these words and scriptures, again, not in front of my Bible. Um, I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God, that he came to earth in the flesh as a man. He died on the cross for us, he shed his blood, and he rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they are trying to scam people. Okay, today is April 7th, 2023. First, he gave me 1 Thessalonians 2.8. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to import to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives because you had become dear to us. Leviticus 5.9. Then he shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. James 1 7 for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord Job 14 3 and do you open your eyes on such a one and bring me to judgment with yourself Jeremiah 3 6 the Lord said also to me in the days of Josiah the king have you seen what backsliding Israel has done she has gone up on every high mountain and under every green tree and there played the harlot Jeremiah 1 11 Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Here's the message. My child, I am coming. I am coming. There is no more time left. Don't wait to come to me. You don't want to be left behind. Destruction is about to come upon this world. Darkness is going to fall. After my chosen ones are gone, stay in your homes, lock your doors, pull down all curtains, secure windows. Do not answer the door. Do not go outside. Death Rider will be in the streets. It's between good and evil. Pray to me without ceasing. The battle in heaven has already started. Rain is coming, my child, rain. But it's not real rain. First comes rain, then comes war. If you don't wake up now, it will be too late. Some of you will be thrown into outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. I don't want this for you. I don't want this for any of my children. Colorado is going to get hit pretty hard, not just financially, but natural disasters. Oklahoma, no lights. Severance packages will not be issued and mortgages will fall. South Africa, the B system will be set up early. Pandemic will hit first. Trains, more train derailments. Bottles of water, the new one won't be safe. They're going to advertise it pretty soon. Canada fresh spring water. Do not drink that. Look at who is running it. I'm trying to warn you, my child, and keep you safe. Everything I say means something. Signs in the heavens mean something. The locusts are going to come out of the abyss and strike you with their scorpion tails. You will want to escape death, but it won't flee from you. Fungus is going to increase tenfold. It's going to pop up in Michigan, Boston, Idaho, New Jersey, Maine, and you will hear rumors and lots of breakouts happening. Some of it is smoke and mirrors. It's to use it. It's to use it for their method of population control. LaGuardia Airport will be shut down. I'm sorry, LaGuardia Airport will be shut down to track the infection. Famine, pandemics, natural disasters, pestilence, they are all coming. Once chaos and destruction hits, they will hoard you in like cattle and you will be assigned, assigned a zone. Digital currency first, then B system set up. Don't trust the new V. Eventually, it leads to the mark through the new financial system. When they start putting your medical records and the identification of your zone, the mark will follow. You will know what it is. You will have to deny me and worship the beast, or you can't buy or sell anywhere. You think it's bad now? No man has seen. No Christian will survive it without the protection of seals on your forehead. I love you, my child. Seek me before it's too late. Give me your heart and let me save you. Believe in me and put down your idols. Delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. I have prepared a place for you. 
There are many rooms in my father's house. I want you to be with me at the wedding feast. I told you, you, I told you who has the open door. I told you who has the open door. I told you who has the key of David. Will you be in the Philadelphia church and trust in me to save you? Don't rely on your works, rely on your fruits and rely on the word I have put on your hearts. Walk in my spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide you to truth. Time is coming when you will no longer have my spirit to call on. I will remove it when I take my chosen ones. I want you to be chosen. The path is very narrow and many never find it. I am giving you a chance to find it. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. If you miss the trumpet call, you will have to die for my glory with your heads under the swords. I am your father, your Messiah, your Lord God, and I have spoken. Jude 1, five. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. Deuteronomy 9.3 Therefore understand today that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you. So you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said to you. Hebrews 1.8 But to the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. But in the end, she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. That was Proverbs 5.4. Habakkuk 3.9 Your bow... Your bow was made quite ready. Oaths were sworn over your arrows. Selah, you divided the earth with rivers. Joshua 4.11 Then it came to pass, when all the people had completely crossed over, that the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed over in the presence of the people. 1 Thessalonians 3.11 Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct, direct our way to you. Revelation 9.11, and they had as a king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Apollyon. Revelation 9.13, then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. 1 John 2.5, but whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Colossians 1, 5. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. 1 Peter 1, 5 who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. A little message, oil reserves in Canada will be blown up. Texas, New York, Georgia, Florida, shots fired. Wyoming, desert falls. Wake up children, it's all coming. Zechariah 11:3. There is a sound of wailing shepherds for their glory is in ruins. There is a sound of roaring lions for the pride of the Jordan is in ruins. Judges 2, 11. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals. John 3, 5. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. <sighs> okay, guys, that was the message. Um, if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life. Trust in him with all your heart and, you know, he, he will forgive you guys. You know, repentance is a change of mind. Come to him. Let him save you. Do not rely on your own works. Don't look at your works as fruits. Guys, look at his word, the doctrine as fruits. Look at your gentleness, your kindness, how you love your neighbor, how you love your Lord God as your fruit. Okay, guys, Jesus loves everybody. Someone asked me the other day, you know, no one ever sings Jesus loves me, so. Jesus loves me, oh yes, he does. Jesus loves me, oh yes he does. Jesus loves me, oh yes he does. For the Bible tells me so. That was for somebody who asked for that the other day. Have a blessed day.